Okay, so I'm just going to do another video on busking setups and how to power your equipment and things like that. Um, I've done a previous video um, on how to power this little amp using an inverter and whatnot. Um, this one, I'm just going to try out, I haven't actually tried this, but I'm going to try out powering one of these. This is in a thousand watt um, Yamaha. And I've got a mixer, so I'm going to test that out and see if I can um, get that working on my current busking setup. Um, I've got quite low rated uh, inverter, it's only max 600 watts, and that's in a thousand watt speaker. But I'm going to give it a go and see if I can operate it on like a lower volume and if that's going to work. Okay, so I did this in the last video, but I'm going to do a quick run through my previous, this is my small busking setup. So, first thing here, this is in the last video, but this is my um, pure sine wave inverter, 300 watt with a peak power of 600 watt. Um, you look at the last video, I actually bought this in the UK, so that's why I'm back in Australia now. So I've got a, um, I'm just using a plug adapter on that guy, and this one operates at uh, 240 volts. So that's the inverter. Um, this is my little amp, uh, Compact 60. And then, since I didn't, I brought this back from the UK, I didn't bring the battery back, so I brought a new battery since I got here. And this time I did get a smaller one. Um, last time I had a 74 amp hour or something like that. Um, I've got, this one is a deep cycle battery, 12 volt, 38 amp hour. So it's about half the size. Um, as I mentioned in the last one, you want a 12 volt deep cycle battery because it's got slow discharge. And, um, just really quickly to use it, you hook these up, it's red to red, and then black to the negative side. Hook that up like that. It's a good battery. Here's your inverter, and then you flick it on, just like that. And then that's where I would plug in my Australian adapter. And from then, I can plug my amp into this guy here. Okay, I'm quickly going to show you how to set this up. Um, just again, really quick. So got the battery, that's the charger. First thing you do, pop the battery there. Connect. Black to the negative, red to the positive. When you're busking, you've got a little inverter here. That's where your plug goes in on the top there. Flick that guy on. Now I'm just gonna use my adapter. Um, actually, keep it off until you put the adapter in. Just for safety. I've got an adapter, um, just because it was previously a UK, I bought it in the UK. And now I'm gonna plug in a power board. Um, with these, they're very, very cheap. Make sure you get one that's got a surge protection protector. So if you're using things like um, computers or other things, you don't wanna damage any of your equipment. So just get one of these, they're really cheap. They're about five bucks. Um, I'll get in there. And then you've got your power board ready to go. It's a power board. There's the back of my amp there. Just gonna plug this kettle cable in. <clears throat> and that in there, okay? And then I'm gonna flip that on. I can turn my amp on here. That's come on. And you're pretty much good to go. So you, with this amp, I, it's a two channel amp. I can plug my guitar in and my microphone in. So once you've got that all set up, um, you can just plug your guitar, your guitar and your mic in. Just you know, prove to you guys that this actually works. Um, It's good to turn your amp off first, then turn your inverter off, then disconnect it, and then go about taking cables off your battery. It's just, it's just a safe way to do it. Okay, so next one. Next one, okay, I'm in the frame now. So we tried that um, battery in this. So I'm gonna try a bigger setup now. So this will be my um, 
my small acoustic setup. I usually just take this little one just because it's less to carry. Um, but I'm gonna have a shot. I haven't actually tried this. Um, but it could be good in the future if I, you know, if I'm like playing as a band or something like that. Um, so here, I have. It's a 10 channel mixer. 10 channel? I think. That's my mixer. And I've also got this guy. Big old amp. So, I've still got the battery here. That's hooked up to the inverter. I'm just going to move that over to the side here. Like that. Battery in the inverter. I'm going to plug this power board back in. So that goes in there. And let's give this a go. So, first things first. The mixer. So I'm just going to plug that in. I haven't actually charged this battery recently. Um, 12 volt battery, 600 watt amp. This mixer, see if it says, it says it's 15 watt. So that, that's not, as you expect, that's not a particularly big load because it's not, there's no um, amplifiers in here. This is a powered speaker. Um, not like a passive speaker. There are some systems you get where the amplifier is sort of in like a big cabinet kit. Um, the amp is actually here. Um, a thousand watt amplifier. This is the Yamaha DBR12. Um, I recommend these. They're pretty cheap and they're actually pretty good. Um, cool. So plug that one in. I've turned on the power here. First thing I'm going to do is... Oh, I'll just plug it all in. <clears throat> so we go put that one in there. Two, I'm just gonna turn the turn it down to about negative three dB on that one. Oh I'm gonna need some cables for this quickly. So from the out we're gonna go for the mixer here. Just gonna have it just like a live PA setup. So I've just got an XLR from my mixer to here, um, and then I've got all my channels here. First things first, I'm going to turn on my mixer. So that's, if you can see, not really, but that's all come on. I'll show you in a second. That's on, and I'm going to turn this guy on. Okay, so I can hear the fan kicking off. It just kicked off, off and on a couple times in my inverter. Um, because I guess it's a bigger load, it's going to be heating up quicker. And this is kicked on now. You can hear the fan inside this running. Seems to all be running at the moment. I can hear a little bit of hum from my inverter. Just a, just a tiny bit, not like, you'd not like you wouldn't expect. Okay. Now let's see if we can get any sound out of this. Which one's my... Instrument line. Okay, so let's turn the speaker around. So the speaker's on, it's running. Yeah. Turn that guy around so you can see it. See it, hear it. Let's turn the gain up on this guy. how much life we're going to get out of this. Um, I might have to do another couple tests to see. Maybe, maybe I'll take this kit busking. But here I've got all these channels now compared to my last setup. And I'm just running this off a 38 amp hour battery. And an inverter, so there we go.
It's getting pretty loud. Um, I've got the amp on this set at about three quarters. You know, I think that's... That's pretty loud. It's probably going to be peaking my mic. Um, with that. That all seems to be working pretty well. Um, yeah, that's a pretty good setup. Um, the only thing is, I'm not sure what the life of this would be, um, but it's a plus that you could have a couple mics and a couple of guitars hooked up. And this is on this battery I got from Aldi. This cost me, I think, like $70 Australian. Um, and the inverter I bought overseas. Um, I'll put a link to the model. If I, if, I'm not sure what brand it is. It's just a foreign one. It's quite cheap. Um, Anyway, it sounds good, so I'm pretty I'm pretty impressed with that. Um, everything seems to be operating fine just as it would. Um, plus side of this, for those people who have more kit, um, you could potentially load up your power board with other things. I'm not sure how much things like PCs would use, but um, I've got stuff like, I'll just show you. So this is my pedal board, just here. Um, I'd potentially run that, which is pretty easy. That's pretty low power, um, comparatively, I think they're all nine volt. And that's my big pedal board, um, stuff like that. And yeah, that's about it. Um, what else was I gonna say? Nothing really, just want to show you guys that you can get quite a bit. This, this is the 300 watt peak power, 600 watt pure sine wave inverter. Um, you know, if you're going to want two of these, you're probably going to want to go for um, maybe an 1000 watt inverter and maybe even a bigger battery. Um, I'm not sure how that's going to go with battery life, but I reckon you'd probably get a good few hours out of it, um, potentially. It's just, just a guess. But I'm using this one with my inverter and that other small amp, and that's lasting me hours. Like, I, I forget to charge this because I don't charge it enough, to be honest. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. What other questions that people have? Okay, that's it. So, battery and inverter can go quite a long way with these setups. Um, just remember, I'm just gonna shut this down. Just remember to Use one of these power boards that has surge protection. Um, these guys, these guys have fuses in the back, generally, um, in the back of your in your inverter. But I'm guessing that's probably just to protect your actual um, inverter itself from killing itself. Um, this has actually got a fuse in it too. Cool. So um, I hope this helps. Um, if you guys want any more videos of stuff like this, any other questions let me know and I'll post some more videos and things. Um, yeah, happy busking.